Hello, friends of 5C. Rabbit 2025 has been recently released and it has quite some exciting features when it comes to 5C, which is why I wanted to give you a quick overview in this video. I'm Leila, a recovering architect and a BIM specialist at Autodesk. So let's have a look what Rabbit 2025 has to offer. My highlight is definitely the new IFC export mapping dialog, which defines the assignment of Rabbit categories to IFC classes. To remind you how this looked before Rabbit 2025, we had to go to export, options, check this table and type an alternative IFC class name if needed. And the chances were good you would make a typo and your export would fail. In addition, when switching between Revit in different languages, this table would get messed up, so you had to delete it manually and then click Reset to restore the original settings. Otherwise, your IFC files could end up empty. In Revit 2025, this mapping is now integrated in the Revit IFC export settings and uses the same mapping dialog that we introduced in Revit 23 already for the element mapping. This dialog offers a straightforward assignment of the IFC class and type from a list. It is also possible to assign a user-defined type, which unlocks this field here, where you can simply enter the desired type name manually. But this is not all. You can also reset line by line to the default settings, or you can reset the entire table with a simple click. It is now also very easy to exclude a category or a subcategory from the export using the checkbox in front of the name. For more flexibility, you can create multiple setups in the same Revit project and switch between them easily. Of course, you can also load or export the setups for an easy exchange of standards between the projects. These could be setups for the different disciplines and use cases, or also for different IFC schemas like 2x3, 4 or 4.3. Talking about 4.3, just to remind you, IFC 4.3 has been finally approved as an ISO standard in January this year and officially published in April. There were quite some substantial changes in the final version and Revit 2025 was already released with support for the latest IFC 4.3 Addendum 2. Do you remember what one of the exciting new things about 4.3 is? It is that now we are not only limited to the IFC building as one of the main containers, but also have the option to work with other containers better suited for infrastructure projects. Therefore, when exporting IFC 4.3 from Revit, you will find this new option, which lets you select an alternative IFC facility class. By the way, if you are wondering why IFC 4.3 is still called experimental, it's basically because there is no export certification in place yet, and therefore the implementation is not finalized. Last but not least, we all love to go and have a nice coffee and chat with our colleagues when starting an IFC export, because it can take a moment, right? However, with Ravi 2025, the export can be more than 50% faster for many models, so make sure to keep this in mind while enjoying your coffee. Besides these, there is a bunch of other enhancements and improvements which you can find listed in the official Revit help. Of course, you can also find the updated documentation, including the features discussed today in our IFC manual. So what do you think about Revit 2025 and the new IFC features? Are you also excited about the new mapping dialogue? Leave me a comment and see you soon.